Hey guys, Pete Williams here from preneurmarketing.com again with another short work hack video. And this little productivity tip is a productivity tip, if I can speak English properly, on how to actually consume video content online at a more productive pace. Now you all know I talk very quickly and that if you've been following along for a while, I like to listen to audio in various formats at a faster speed. But I've come across an awesome little online tool that actually allows you to watch flash video content online at a faster speed. Now, obviously, Flash is a, uh, a big uh, platform that's used or protocol that's used online. Obviously, not so much with uh, the Apple devices such as your iPad and your iPhone, but across the general web, if you're on any sort of PC or Mac that uh, uses the web, <laughs> uh, Flash is pretty much the predominant video player, such as the YouTube page that you see here. Now, obviously, uh, when you go to a, a YouTube video, uh, for those of you who want some workflow hacks as well, uh, this great one you're watching right now, um, content creation workflow from uh, my good buddy Ed Dale, is a really cool one and a process that I use as well to create a lot of content. So we'll use this as the example. Now, normally you go to a YouTube video, you hit play, the video plays as normal at the standard speed. But with this little application that I'm going to show you in a second, as soon as you hit play, it actually brings up a little window and allows you to actually play the video back at a faster speed, which is awesome. So for those of you who do like to consume content at a faster tempo, this little application allows you to do that. So let me show you exactly what I mean. I'm going to just leave the video recording at normal pace, but I'm going to play the YouTube clip here. Welcome everybody, um, back today with some more workflow action and of course today we want to go with the uh, crucial workflow which is of course uh, Angry Birds Rio. So you know, I want to let you know my strategies for getting through all of these different levels. Um, but somebody actually mentioned to me that maybe it's not Angry Birds that you're interested in. So you can see there that actually Ed's voice and the whole video is being played at almost two speed. Now uh, I can sort of drill a bit faster into the video and when I hit play I'm going to actually now adjust the actual speed here from 1.8 to be a bit slower and quicker to show you the difference of what this application does. And so again the iPad has become a crucial tool for mind mapping and One it speed, comes normal the speed. of all of my content creation. From Very now slow. On. And we're getting to the point where we are really starting to Faster. churn through. Now, before I say another word, I have to give credit where credit is due. And this entire process, really, I can't remember. It was something that I learned from this following website, Max Marky and the Power Users, uh, the Mac Power Users podcast. Now, obviously, you can see there that it actually plays the whole video back at a faster speed, which is once you get used to it and you train your body can be very, very efficient use of your time. You can get through uh, watching video content in uh, two speed, which means you're gonna get through an hour video in half an hour, or a 12 minute video in this instance in six minutes. And it's a great way to uh, get the core content out at a quicker productivity time for you. And this works for YouTube pages or YouTube videos that are embedded on a site, like at, over at uh, Merlin Mann's site at 43 Folders. If I play his uh, presentation from Webstock, which is an awesome conference in New Zealand, you'll be able to get a feel for what happens as well. We're running a bit late. Please welcome Merlin Mann. I've been looking forward to this. Merlin, take away. Thank you, Mike. Oh, mm, this isn't on yet, right? Anyway, so he says to where he says, Oh, hi, everybody. How's it going? Oh, excuse me. Oh, God. I wanted the sandwiches earlier. Uh, no, seriously, the food's actually been really, really super good. Don't you think? How's it going? You guys all right? You doing good? Doing fine? No, no, I'm used to this already. I've already had free time. So you can see that what happens is a little window pops up automatically and it starts playing the embedded video back. And it works with any type of flash format across the web. You can see here there's actually an embedded uh, workflow video, or sorry, not workflow audio from the audio that he did as an interview as part of the Mac Power Users workflow series, which is, again, is an awesome two hour, I think it is, maybe even longer than two hours worth of uh, Merlin Man's crazy workflow processes, which is kind of cool. But who has two hours to sit down and go through this? But you can either download it and use some of the other stuff that I've spoken about uh, and the other products over at stitchsoftware.com to uh, treat the downloaded audio files quicker. But if you want to just play it online, Mac Power Users, episode 46, Workflows with Merlin Mann, part two. Welcome back to another episode of the Mac Power Users podcast. I'm Katie Floyd alongside with David Sparks. You ready, David? You bet. All right. Without further ado, we're going to jump right back into this because, ladies and gentlemen, Merlin Mann. 
<laughs> Hi again, guys. Thank you for having me back. Thank you. Sure, it was nice having you back, Merlin. It was great seeing you this year, Macworld. Oh, thank you. I mean, just so you know, I mean, I, I never... So there you go. It actually will automatically pop up and play any embedded Flash file across any website, which is just amazing. And once you get used to it, you actually find that listening to stuff at one speed, the normal speed, is agonizingly slow, which is really, really cool. So at least 1.5 speed, you'll be able to get used to very, very quickly. And as you train yourself, you can get up to 2, 2.2, 2.5 speed and still have no comprehension loss, which is really, really cool. The application is about 30 bucks and you can get it at, uh, I believe it's myspeedapp.com. Myspeedapp.com will uh, send you to the, uh, the download page where you can get a copy of this application. It runs on the Mac and there's a PC version as well. So as much as I try to, I try to keep all this sort of productivity tip stuff uh, platform agnostic. So whether you're a PC user or a uh, Mac user, this uh, software will uh, give you that functionality and allow you to get more done in less time.